<laughs> okie dokie, okie dokie taking the pokey. I'm going to make five batches of soap today and I haven't even weighed my oils yet, I've just been doing my lies. Oh it's Friday and the shop's shut at the moment because I just want to get and film a video because I haven't done one ready for this week so I'm going to do it today. So I'm just going to chop up my oils, get them in this big old pot, melt them down and then we'll start. So today I'm going to do rose cardamom, gingerbread, rings of smoke through the trees, coven and I don't know, I'll make up my mind when I'm a, have a little think while I'm weighing these out. I'm not sure, I've got a few so stay tuned. Okay, right, so the first thing I'm going to start with, first soap I'm going to start with is Lunasa. And Lunasa, well I'm actually going to call it smoke through the trees this time because I've just missed Lunasa, that was yesterday, or Lamas if that's what you prefer to call it. I missed it yesterday. So, it always reminds me, this time of year, it always reminds me of Led Zeppelin album, so smoke through the trees, like rings of smoke through the trees is what I want to do here. So, I've chosen to look at Google. If you tap in smoke through the trees into Google, you get like, it just gives me colour inspiration. So I've got like a, a dark, stormy, sort of blue colour, which I'm going to use. And I mix it with some charcoal. So I'm going to do a gradient today. And here's my blend, which is very dark. It's got Love Danum oil in there and lots and lots of different essential oils. So this is an essential oil blend. It smells like smoke. It smells like when you're outside in the autumn and there's fires. That's the, that's the scent. That's where we're at. So I'm just going to pour my lye into my oils here. I've been really faffing about, like really enjoying listening to my music this morning, so uh, yeah, taking me a while to get with it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put my blend in now. Wow, it smells just, just like when you're outside and there's maybe been a rainstorm. It's not quite petrichor, but it's definitely like when you're out near some woods and you've got that kind of damp earth and smoke coming through. It's beautiful. It's a bit of a different scent. It's not like one for everybody. You know, people who like fruity and things like that, it's certainly not going to be for you. But um, if you like scent that takes you somewhere, then this one is for you. bowl for my stick but never mind okay so what we're going to do first then pour off the largest amount because we only want to do half so when you do a gradient you're only pouring half and then let me explain if you haven't done this before then it, this is for you okay so all your color goes into the first jug full okay so I'm going to just quickly stick blend that there we go. okay so the darkest, darkest, darkest colour is going to be at the bottom of our soap. So I'm just going to pour that in to here. But only half of it because that's how you get your colours. So it's in lines how you make it. So the next one you pour in half again. I'm sure most of you have seen this done before, but um, some of you might not have. Okay, I need my thingy. It's already thickened up underneath, thankfully, so I can get this next layer on. I 
should probably bring you a bit closer. Hold on. There you go. Now you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. My mould's a bit wonky because there's a screw kind of in the wrong place. But these scoops are really handy when you want to do these because you can get really low in there. You don't want to do like high pours to get a layer on if you see what I mean. You want to do nice low pours so it doesn't go through to the layer underneath. And preferably use a very slow moving fragrance or essential oil to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to pour in some more soap. The very top I'm going to uh, I'm going to put a cocoa line, and then I'm going to put white on the top. So we've got some contrast. So the colours I mixed together was Cerulean Blue by Michael Mama. Her link is down below. All links are down below for everything. The only thing that isn't down there is I keep getting asked about the bowl that I use to mix my, my oils, like my big plastic bowl. It's from a shop called The Range, but I don't think you'll get it. You know, like it's a shop in the UK, so I get asked by people all over the world where I get it from. I didn't buy it online, I just found it in a local hardware st store, so I'm sure where you are, you find like, it's from the baking section, so if you go and look, you know, in your cake making bowls, you should find one similar. So that's where I got it from. I'll tidy up again. Okay, now I want just a small layer. Okay, next one. So what have I been doing? I have cancelled my gym membership. I've been threatening to do that for a long time. And it's really funny, I've been really putting off doing that because I really didn't want to fail. But since I've done it, and it's only been this week, I've exercised at home every single day. Which is more exercise than I've done in months with the gym membership. <laughs> and I just did not think that was going to happen. I was on Pinterest and I thought, let me find some exercises I can do at home. Because I felt bad for cancelling it, but then I just wasn't going and it was a waste of money. So I thought, I can do stuff at home. So I found some challenges to do. So I'm doing the abs challenge at the moment, which is a 30 day challenge. Let me just pour that on there. Where you're doing like sit ups or crunches and leg raises and the plank every single day. And it gets harder and harder every time. So I decided to do that. And then I've done it. I've got up every morning and it only takes a few minutes. So I've actually stuck to it. I mean, I'm only three days in, so, you know, <laughs> it could go really wrong. Or I might just get lazy and not bother doing it again. But it's, it's just, you know, it was costing me £33 a month to have a gym membership. And if I wasn't using it, then there's just no point in keeping it. So I got rid of it and now I'm exercising more than I was before. Plus, I walk the dog every morning, every lunchtime and every evening. So, you know, I'm getting enough exercise, I think. I just need to cut down on cake intake. <laughs> I love the cake. Okay, I'm going to take you back up so you can see the rest of what I'm going to do. Okay, so now I want to um, put a cocoa line on there. Thin one. And then, oh, it's wonky mold, honest. Uh. 
very annoying. Okay, let me just put that to the side a second. So my leftover butter, I want white. So I've got some white mixed up. I did actually mix it with water today. Just because I don't want any bits, should there ever be any. It's really nice and smooth. I'm just going to stick the blender anyway because I want it to really mix in. I had to buy these really rubbish yellow gloves today because I'd run out and I like really dried all my hands out last week when I was making soap, so I thought I'd better go and buy some. And I was looking for my usual vinyl ones, but they didn't have any, so. I've got these really rubbish yellow ones, which makes it really hard to grip anything. So they're all baggy. I need to get to the wholesaler and uh, buy what I need. Okay, so this should be okay to just go on the top. Yeah, just. Just about. Okay, I'll just use a spatula just a second. I've gone all quiet because I've been singing all morning with Jill Scott. Who, who else likes Jill Scott? How can you not like Jill Scott? She's amazing. I've always been really into her. I was cooking the dinner last night. I was making a curry for me and Matt. And, uh, he came down and I got Angie Stone on for a bit and then I was <laughs> listening to uh, Jill Scott and he was laughing. At, um, some of the lyrics are funny. He was like, who are you listening to? He came along and I had a look at my phone and he's like, oh. so it's been a while since I listened to her. And she's one of my favourites. We're big hip hop fans in our house, and Matt doesn't well. He listens to everything, but his uh, his very favourite music is uh, hip hop. So we listen to a lot of it in the house, and all all different, like from East Coast, West Coast, UK hip hop, all kinds. And I'm convinced that the dog likes Ice Cube. I play Ice Cube in the car quite a lot and she seems very content when he comes on. So I said to Matt, I'm sure she's an Ice Cube fan. <laughs> make it rough, make it smooth, that's the one she likes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, texture this in a second, I think. But that is Lunasso. I should be back to show you the cut on that one. And um, I'll be back for the next soap. It's going to be quite a simple one next, I think. So, see you soon. I just remembered what I was going to do, so I'll do the textured top now. So I'm just bringing over the top from the side again a bit. And I picked some cow parsley seeds the other day to use for this soap. So I'm going to put it on the top, just on the one side. So there's my texture, and there's my cow parsley. So I just want it down this side here. So it's got that harvest time vibe. I love this time of year. It's like every but the, all the like hay and everything's been being cut and mmm, it's just so nice. We've had such a hot summer for the UK. It's never usually like this, and it's been so nice. But it's been so unusual for us. It's I mean we get warm summers, warm summer days, but um. Not usually this warm, and it's been like 30 degrees C, which some of you just laugh at me because you know it's not hot. And I've been listening to that um, best case, worst case podcast, and Francie hates she was talking about how hot it gets in Georgia, and she said, You just don't know unless you've experienced southern heat, you just don't know. And I'm like, Yeah, I can imagine. Well, only imagine. So, um, if any of uh, you watching, our Georgia peeps fill me in on about how hot it actually gets. <laughs> Southern heat. So yeah, it's just been like really, really nice to have a summer that's been so 
summery, you know. We've had the fan on all night long in the bedroom because I just our house doesn't have any doors. As you go upstairs, there's like no doors on any of the rooms, so the heat just rises straight to the top. And um, oh my god, our bedroom. It's been so warm. But it's nice, it's just nice to be able to just not have to think about what you're going to wear, like all these layers. We're so used to, in the winter, we have to put on all these layers of clothing. And at the moment, it's just like, oh, t-shirt, shorts, or dress, you know. Anyway, I should leave a picture at the end of this wet soap, and then um, I'll be back for the cut for it. Ta-ta!